you want to watch UK TV in Ireland? Getting blocked when you try and watch the BBC? No joy with ITV or Channel 4 either? Well, there's a solution. Just watch this. Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how to watch BBC or any UK TV station um, from outside the UK. From Ireland, Europe, America, anywhere. Okay, so if you try and access a BBC site, either iPlayer or the live content, um, you'll get some sort of message like this. This content doesn't seem to be working or this content's not available in your location, something like that, okay? Um, and that's because basically BBC checks your IP address and checks your location based on that IP address. So if you're not in the UK, you get blocked. It doesn't matter if you're in somewhere like Ireland, a few miles across the border, you'll still get blocked. Um, now, what people generally do is use something like a VPN or a proxy. Both of those have become quite problematic and quite um, unreliable in the last year or so because BBC have been blocking them. Um, so I'm going to show you another solution that I've been using for the last year or so now called SmartDNS. Okay, and I'll just show you briefly how you set it up. Uh, SmartDNS works just based on DNS servers, okay? So all you have to do to set it up is go to your network uh, and sharing center. Go to your local area connection. This is Windows 7. Be slightly different place depending on which version of the window you're using. <coughs> properties and you're looking for TCP IP version 4 and properties. Right, whatever you're on this works on any device. Um, games, consoles, smart TVs. You can even set it up on your router and it affects all devices which I'll do another video for that. Um, but basically, you, all you need to do is put these two DNS servers. So if you can get into the DNS settings and change them, Smart DNS should work on it. Okay, so any device, Roku's, um, I use mine on something called a Shield, which is a, a great little media streamer. Okay, so you've got a preferred DNS server and an alternative DNS server. You get these Smart DNS servers from your subscription. They're not free, you, can't, you won't find any that work very well anymore for free. But the subscription's pretty low anyway. Okay, let me close that now and I'll show you how it works. And I'll also show you a little bonus you get with this. Okay, so let's go back and, whoops, I'll start uh, the browser again. Where is it? Let's start Chrome. Uh, first of all, we'll go to the BBC. Okay, so I, I got that message blocked before. Now let's go and stream something. That doesn't really matter what. Gavin and Stacy. Let's just click that. Um, and now the Smart DNS server is going to intercept my connection and make it look as I'm in the UK. Okay, and can you see? And here it's streaming. And the beauty is it's quick because it doesn't stream the entire connection like a VPN. It only just does enough to hide your location. The rest is direct to direct. Okay, so that's BBC. Now, what I want to show you is it works on loads of other sites as well. Any US media site, um, let me pick one, NBC. Okay, now NBC is a, a US site um, that's got loads of stuff. If you um, want to watch America's Got Talent, now, normally, if you went through this without Smart DNS, you'd get blocked, okay? Um, but Smart DNS intercepts your connection and will now make you look as though you're in America, okay? So it's I'm going to stream this here, and then it'll start, and you see it start working. I wouldn't have got that far without Smart DNS. It would have said, I'm not in America, sorry, you're blocked. So there's me running BBC iPlayer and NBC, and it works for loads of other sites as well. Um, there's Indian sites, there's an Indian site called Hotstar, where you can watch Premiership Football. And um, also, if you start up Netflix on this computer, I'll get the US version of Netflix, which has got a few thousand more films uh, than the, the UK one, for instance, and most of the European ones. So Smart DNS just sits there in the background, and the only need, time you need to do anything is if your IP address changes. Okay, cheers. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And that's all you have to do. Two simple changes on any device at all will unlock all the UK television stations. Try it for free for 14 days. Visit dnsproxy.co.uk.